Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode let's talk about another amazing bike from Giant and this time it's gonna be 2022 Giant Revolt Advanced 2 with an amazing retail price of 2800 US dollars. But before we start, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that little bell icon because it's gonna help in growing the channel. And of course, if you are already a subscriber, then definitely thank you. So, as I was saying, a gravel bike from Giant, the newest uh, Giant Revolt Advance 2 for the 2022 season with an amazing retail price of 2,800 US dollars. I'm really fascinated with uh, what's possible in this price range and Giant and Merida are definitely leading the way. So let's first answer the question who is this bike for? So you see this is a typical example of a gravel road bike. So let's imagine you are spending majority of your time on the road but from time to time you like to go a bit of off-roading, nothing too demanding, you just like to explore the nature then definitely you should check the Giant Revolt uh, platform. This specific Revolt Advance 2 comes in two paint schemes. So the first one is so-called Panther, or I would call it, you know, classical metallic black. Looks pretty decent, no problems with that. And the second paint scheme you can choose from is so-called Starry Night, or to put it simply, metallic blue, metallic light blue and dark. Looks pretty, pretty nice. And definitely, if uh, I'm buying this bike, I would go with the Starry Night uh, paint scheme. Now we can dive in, <clears throat> we can really see the specifications of this bike and see what do you get for your hard earned money. We can always kick off with the frame and the fork. So you see the frame is a carbon fiber frame from Giant. This is their advanced grade composite. The same thing is with the fork, so advanced grade composite. 12 mm true axles both front and the back. Press fit uh, bottom bracket on this frame. And also an interesting thing is that of course there's a internal cable routing, kind of partly internally uh, routing, which is very good in my opinion, it's gonna be easy to service. And this frame also at the back, at the rear uh, axle, has so-called flip chip dropout. And what does it mean? So basically you can move the rear axle for about 10 millimeters to the front or to the back, so basically you can change the wheelbase of the bike and with this thing you will definitely change the behavior of the bike. It's a very nice and neat solution uh, and Giant has implemented it for the 2022 season. Also keep in mind that carbon fiber frames and forks from Giant absolutely top notch and uh, also they come with a lifetime warranty which is always good to know. Since this is a gravel road bike you have a lot of mounting points on the frame and the fork so if you want to bring some, you know, extra bags or a tent or something like that, if you are going really off-roading for a few days, you have an option with this uh, bike. So when it comes to the frame and the fork, absolutely no complaints from me. Top-notch product, uh, Giant's uh, advanced grade composite, also on the fork. I forgot to mention it's a full composite uh, steerer with the Giant's overdrive steerer technology. Now let's move on to the, some smaller pieces on the bike. So handlebar and the stem. So the stem is the Giant's Contact stem, classical aluminum stem, and then we have the handlebars which are Giant Contact XR D-Fuse. So immediately you see separate pieces, handlebar and the stem, which is again great because in the future if you want to replace anything it's very easy, nothing is proprietary, and also when you are setting your position on the bike, since these handlebar and stem are separate pieces, it's very easy to find your precise position. With this handlebar, uh, diffuse handlebar, I think this is going to be an aluminum handlebar, but this is something just you can double check with your giant bike dealer to be sure. I don't think this is a carbon fiber handlebar. It would almost be too much on this uh, price level of the bike. But again, aluminum stem handlebar, I absolutely have no complaints about it. It's a perfectly fine pieces on this bike. Now let's talk about the saddle and the seat post. So you see the saddle is the giant approach saddle. Since saddles are always a personal preference, if you don't like this saddle, it's easy to replace it with your, you know, preferred saddle. And when it comes to the seat post, 
I'm glad the giant uses their defuse carbon fiber seat post, so it's gonna soak up so much of the road bumps. And also a good thing here is that um, in the future, if you wanna change this seat post with any other carbon fiber seat post, so easy to do. And also if you wanna mount a dropper seat post, uh, it, it is possible. And you can even mount a classical, you know, 31 millimeter dropper seat post. Uh, where Giant just offers you a little adapter, which is absolutely great. So that's a very, very good thing from Giant. Now let's talk about the total group set on this bike. So the shifters, front mech and the rear mech. So everything is Shimano's GRX group set. So this is a Shimano's dedicated group set for the gravel. It's a 11 speed mechanical group set. Shifters are Shimano's GRX uh, RX 600. So this 600 series is not top of the line. Uh, Shimano does their RX810 series when it comes to the shifters, but also you have to keep in mind the price of 2,800 US dollars on this price. So this RX600 shifters, perfectly fine in my opinion, no problems here. Front mech and the rear mech are the Shimano's GRX810 series, so absolutely top of the line, no cutting corners here, uh, really great choice. When it comes to the braking system on the bike, of course you are getting the Shimano's GRX hydraulic disc brakes. But as I already mentioned, uh, the shifters are on the Shimano's RX 600 series. And now when you look at the brake calipers, the brake calipers are RX 400 series. So just keep in mind again, RX 400 series on the braking calipers is not top of the line that Shimano can do. But again, this is for this price range perfectly fine. Also a good thing here is that the braking rot are 160 millimeter braking rotors front and back so they didn't cut corners here the only little detail here is that the specification mentions that these are some kind of giants own MPH rotors I'm not sure is this is some kind of little mistake in the specifications because these rotors look very like uh, the classical Shimano's RT64 braking rotors uh, so I'm not sure with that this is something again to double check with your giant bike dealer. Is it the Shimano's braking rotors or the giant's own rotors? Again, I wouldn't be so much, you know, worried about it out of the box. But in the future, for example, when you destroy these braking rotors and braking pads, I would definitely upgrade, for example, to the Shimano's Ultegra level braking rotors <clears throat> just because of the famous Shimano's Ice Tech, Ice Freeza technology on them. So they're going to have a much, much better heat dissipation. Now let's talk about the chain and the cassette on the bike. So the cassette is the Shimano's 105 cassette, 1134, very nice wide range cassette. It's paired with the KMC X11 SL chain. So okay, they've made a little, you know, deviation from the Shimano group, they've used the KMC chain, but again, perfectly fine chain, I wouldn't complain anything. And now the crankset, they haven't used the Shimano's GRX level crankset, they've used the Praxis Alba 2D crankset, 3148. So 3148 chain rings at the front, 1134 cassette at the back, superb, superb choice. You will uh, have no problems in attacking any steep mountains or spending a lot of hours in the saddle, you know, going off-road. This Praxis Alba 2D, in my opinion, is a bit, you know, step down from the Shimano's GRX group set. But then again, uh, since the retail price is 2,800 US dollars, I'm perfectly fine with that. And you definitely won't have problems with this Praxis Alba crank set. And also, as I said on the frame, this is a press fit bottom bracket, as I see here from Praxis. I wouldn't expect any problems with this press fit bottom bracket because Giant usually has a very good quality of the carbon fiber frames. So all the creaking noises usually come from bad quality of carbon fiber frames, not from the, you know, the uh, bottom bracket as it is. Now let's talk about the wheel set on the bike. So you are getting here the Giant PX2 uh, disc wheel set. This is a classical aluminium wheel set from Giant. Total weight of this wheel set I'm expecting to be about 1800 grams. Giant's own hubs here with sealed bearings, probably you know two sealed bearings at the front, maybe three or four sealed bearings at the back. And as I said, pretty, cl pretty classical uh, Giant's own aluminium wheel set, nothing special here. But again, this wouldn't bother me. This is an easy piece in the future. If you save a bit of money, 
uh, on the levels of you know a thousand US dollars you can even buy a carbon fiber wheel set if you really want and if you are changing the wheel set I always suggest you to have a look at DT Swiss wheels to start with or even Giant's own uh, Kdex wheels are a very good choice uh, this wheel set, uh, this wheel set is wrapped in Giant's own uh, cross-cut uh, tires. These are 38 millimeter tubeless uh, tires. Very good, very good choice. A lot of air volume in this tire. And also, if you are uh, changing the tire in the future, you can fit all the way to 53 millimeter tires in this frame. Uh, this will uh, slightly depend on the position of your, you know, flip chip position at the uh, rear axle. So the maximum is 53 millimeters, but all the way, basically from 42 millimeters to 53 millimeters, you can fit all the tires, which is absolutely great. You will definitely have a lot of air volume in these tires. A uh, giant doesn't mention the total weight of this bike, uh, but I would expect that it's probably going to be about eight and a half kilograms in let's call it size you know large the size i would use but i'm not so obsessed here with the bike weight because this is a proper gravel road bike so you are not so worried about you know lightweight stiff frames this is not the point of this bike so in a summary do i have any special complaints about this bike considering the retail price of 2800 us dollars and I absolutely have to say no, I have no complaints about this bike. The price is already amazing. So if you can get your hands on this uh, gravel bike Giant Revolt Advance 2, please do because it's a very, very good offer from uh, Giant. I will just mention uh, two small details to check with your uh, Giant bike dealer. The first thing is these braking rotors. Are they from Shimano or this is some kind of Giant's own production? So just you know in the future if you are upgrading I would strongly recommend you to go with the Shimano's Ultegra level braking rotors but as it is out of the box no worries. Also another small detail just to check are you getting uh, classical aluminium handlebars from Giant, Giant Diffuse? I think it's going to be aluminum handlebars, but maybe it's a surprise that Giant have included a carbon fiber handlebars, which would be amazing. But again, don't worry about it. This is not a deal breaker for this bike. So I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. And if you do, please do subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you're always notified when I make a new video. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Pura vida.